Hey people, it's Christy Day of Wool Envy. A friend of mine, um, just, you know, out of the clear blue sky said, you know, I would really like some um, wool dryer balls. Can anyone make them? Of course I can make them. Anybody can make them. You can make them too. So I'm going to show you how to make wool felt balls or felted wool balls um, for teacher gifts, hostess gifts, grandma gifts, whatever you want to do. They're great gifts. If you're not familiar with dryer balls, you need to get on board because dryer balls will reduce the time that it takes for your load of laundry to dry. Like seriously, by 15%, by 15 minutes a load for sure. I've been using dryer balls for maybe four or five years. I, they really are awesome. Now there's plastic dryer balls and there's wool dryer balls, but we love wool. So we're talking about wool today. And people like wool because they can um, add their essential oils. So if you're addicted to um, dryer sheets for their scent, seriously, you need to stop that. <laughs> it's really bad for the environment. And um, it's bad for people who are sensitive. So you might love that dryer scent, but your neighbor who is really sensitive to, um, to chemicals might seriously not be able to walk in their neighborhood because what's being shot out through your dryer vent could be literally making them ill. So please get on board with the anti uh, chemical uh, fragrance because it's really doing a number on a lot of people. So, okay, off of my soapbox and into the soap. <laughs> okay, so this is how you make a dryer ball. You start with some wool batting, okay? You can use wool roving, wool batting, I love because you know it felt amazing. Then you're going to form a ball. And what you're going to want to do is stab it with a felting needle. Now, I have the super duper felting needle, which you can get in multiple felt needle felting supply stores. Uh, I'm not into that. I don't sell it, but there's lots of wonderful people who do. Um, I'm using this one and because it's got like four needles or three needles, so it goes faster. But you can use a single needle, and single needles are super cheap. Who knows, I might even make a little needle felting ball kit. If you want a needle felting, I mean, if you want a dryer ball kit, let me know. I'll make you one. Um, so, anyways, I, uh, I get it so that my ball is kind of, you know, ball shaped. Then, after that, you apply the net. Okay, you need any kind of synthetic netting because it will not stick to the wool. No, um, this is just really cheap little nylon netting that you can get at any needle, any felting supply store. Well, you know, you can get them from me. I'm going to sell them too. But um, anyways, you put that on there and you really wet it. Now, it's faster. I have this thing, but it's actually faster and probably more effective for you to just run it under your, your water, okay, at your sink. Now the reason you have this is because if you were to touch just this wet ball, it would stick to your hands, okay? So, and it wouldn't felt, I mean, it would, it would just be, it would just be really difficult to handle. So you want to at first start with a wet ball and your soap, not facial soap, not like oilable lace soap. You need something that's not pH neutral, okay? So not your your dishwashing soap that's super pH neutral and wonderful and won't harm anything. That's not what you want because if you use that, you're going to get a fluffy mess that's not going to really stay cohesive. Okay, so you're going to want a good old-fashioned bar of soap. Or if you're super into felting, olive oil soap. I have a shipment coming and I'm going to put it, but I mean that's if you're super into felting. If you're just regular, just doing a quick project, just get a cheap bar of soap. No, you know, just lye soap. Okay, enough of that. All right, then you're gonna use a gentle motion, not a lot of pressure. Once you've done this stage for a while, it'll become uh, starting to felt and it will no longer be sticky, okay? Then at that point, you can take your soap and rub it all around. Now what happens is when you start squishing it and moving it, you get these little uh, wrinkles right here. So I have this handed end of felting tool. If you are wanting to do this like uh, as a full-time job, I seriously recommend these. I have these made up. 
from when I melt, make my boots, you know, so that I can get a lot of uh, traction going when I roll something. You really need a lot of pressure that you apply when you're rolling to increase the speed, but come to find out they're great for making dryer balls too. I gotta stand in front of that window so you don't get backlit. Okay, so what I do is I take it and run it like, like a washing board. See how it's got that beautiful little cutout? My friend made that especially for me. I told him, no, it has to have that. And it does, and this is why. So what happens is this, the teeth on this thing rough up my wool. So then it becomes fuzzy. You see that? And it's this fuzzy stuff that I can then shoot with water again and apply some more soap and smooth it out to make a really nice felted mass. Okay? So what you're going to want to do is just keep doing that, rolling around. You can throw it around if you want to. It's really fun. I mean, if you've got some aggressions, you can really do it. The more agitation you cause with your wet felted uh, mass, the stronger it's going to be. Now remember that your wool will shrink. This is going to shrink. Uh, you saw how big this ball was when I started. You know, it was like that to that. So if you want a really big dryer ball, you're going to have to make a ginormous ball to start with. You do not want to add wool later. It's just a real, it's a mess. It doesn't work that well. So you really want to start with a good big ball first. And if you want to keep going, then you could, before it gets really felted, uh, crisscross some layers. Okay? But I found that it works best if you just start big, start big, soak it, and then go that way. It'll be much faster for you. Okay, and then you can keep going if you want to. You could add, in this stage, in this fluffy stage, you could add color to it, colored wool, and designs that you're gonna put in with your, with your needle felting needle. You want a single needle for that. Um, this is super friendly, super easy for little kids. Preschoolers love to felt. And it's also kind of fun to make little felted stones. I mean, you could make little felted Pokemon balls. You could do anything uh, with wool. It's amazing. So have some fun. Get out there and make some balls. I mean, it's really easy. It'll take you maybe 30 minutes, tops 20 minutes, make three balls. So um, depending on just how professional you want to make these balls. But I mean, they'll work after like uh, 20 minutes of, 20, 30 minutes of felting. All right, have fun, get out there and make something. Any 